all of you was today is multiplication of two digits between two consecutive tens welcome i'm ben or benjamin wambua the magician teacher welcome uh, for example we have 12 times 12 i've started with a number which everybody knows the answer we have got the the normal way the the, the analog way of multiplication i leave it for you let me show you the digital way of multiplying two digits between two consecutive tens. For example, 13 times 12, they are all between 10 and 20. The same with 12 times 12. So I'm going to show you, first of all, the general way of multiplication and also the special way of multiplication. Special method can only be applicable to numbers, digits between 10 and 20. All these questions, you can use the special method. Again, you can also use the general method, including this one, which are here. So let me start with the special method. Then we come to general, which cuts across all the others. So when you're given a number like this one, 12 times 12, the normal way of working the, the analog way of working is you take 2 times 2, you get 4. Take 2 times 1, you get 2. Then because of the place value, you take 1 times 2, you get 2. You write it below 2. Why? We are in the tens. Others say, put a 0 here. But you can skip. Because these are ones and these are tens. Then one times one, one. You add four, four, one. That is analog or Vasco da Gama method. Let me now come to the digital way of working and especially the special method. Go to the number. Look at the numbers, the digits, which are in the place value of ones, and multiply them. Two times two, four. We are not carrying anything. So take the upper number, all of it, that is 12. Come to the lower numbers. You pick the number in the place value of ones, that is two. Add them. Okay, that is your answer. We can prove that in these others. For example, here we have one, three, one, two. The numbers in the place value of ones are three and two. Multiply them. Two th three times two or two times three, six. Take that 10 plus two, because two is in the place value of ones. 15, that is your answer. Come here, five and four are in the place value of ones. Multiply like five and four, 20. Zero carry two. You write the two here. Underline. Don't forget you are carrying. 15 plus four, 19. You add to two, 21. The answer, 210. As simple as you can see. Any two digits between 10 and 20. Use that method. Nine times eight. Oh, we were dealing with the other time we were dealing with the multiplication of nine. Numbers by nine. Nine times eight. The answer is here. Seven and two. Two carry seven. Nineteen plus eight. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven plus seven. Thirty-four. That becomes the answer. Now, let me introduce to you the general method which you can use in all the sums. But for any two digits between 10 and 20, don't use the general method. Use the special method. Now, general method. Step one is like step one in the special method. You take the numbers in the ones and multiply. Two times two, you get four. Write four. Take the whole of this number, 
Then ask yourself, which digit is in the place value of tens between two and two? The answer will be too obvious. So two times the whole of this number, you get 44. You calm down, ask yourself, between, oh sorry, you use multiplication sign between these two numbers. Use multiplication sign between them. So what is 2 times 2? 4. Ah, 44 plus 4, 48. The answer gives you 484. And exercise continues like that. You come to 25 times 25. I'm using numbers which you even know the answer so that you can get them the concept properly. 5 times 5, 25. 5 carry 2. The whole of this number you multiply by 2 because it is in the place value of 10. You get 50. Remember we are carrying 2. 2 times 5, 10. 50 plus 10, 60. Plus 2, 62. You write 62 here. The answer, 625. Just like that. We are winding. 2 times 3, 6. You are not carrying anything. So don't confuse yourself. The whole of this number multiplied by 3, you get 9, 9. Then 2 times 3, 6. Ah, 5, carry 1, 10. 1 of 5, you write it before you write the 6. 1 of 5, the answer, 10, 56. You can use any two numbers. 80 something times 80 something, 90 something times 90 something, 40 something times 40 something, and you get the answer. Lastly, is this one. So you take 3 and 2 because they are in the ones. Multiply, you get 6. You, know, you don't carry anything. The whole of this number, you multiply by 7, not 3, because 7 is in the tens. 7 times 3, 21. 1 carry 2. 7 times 7, you get 49. Plus 2, 51. Then you use multiplication sign between 7 and 2. You get 14. Add 5. 2, 5. This 5, 2, 5, write it here. 5, 2, 5. So your answer is 52, 56. That is what I had for you today. Uh, soon, I'll come with something else. Thank you very much for watching. Share, subscribe. Please, and let's meet next time. Bye-bye. Be blessed.